winter time for most sportsmen is a time of uh, little action and a lot of guys decide not to even go out. But I hope by the end of this video series I can showcase the hunting and fishing opportunities available to the outdoorsman that hunts and fishes in the winter. So stay tuned, uh, this is going to be a pretty nice video. made it now. Oh, I got him. <laughs> oh. Wintertime hunting can often be very difficult. A lot of times in the winter, changing weather patterns really affect the movement of game. And often, the hunting can be very hit or miss. A lot of times when you're hunting in the winter, the best time to hunt and where there's going to be the most movement of game, be that deer, squirrels, uh, rabbits, anything, will be right at the cusp of a weather change. In this video, uh, my cousin and Blake were hunting and we were right at the edge of a oncoming storm. And as you can see, we kind of got caught in the middle of it. But we were seeing the most squirrel movement right before the storm, I mean 10 minutes to 15 minutes before and then probably 10 to 15 minutes after. And that's where we bagged all our squirrels in, in this video. So stay tuned, uh, I hope you enjoy the video. You made me jump. <laughs> Wait, back up. Oh, Blake. look at that. Perfect shot. Yep, Blake's got his first squirrel. Why don't you uh, tell the camera what kind of gun you're using, Blake? Uh, it's a Benelli Nova. I got a dove load, so I had to shoot it twice. Modified choke. That's any, any, <laughs> modified <joke. laughs> Anything more than five yards? Then. I mean, that was that had to have been five yards, but that was pushing the limit. <laughs> yep. He snuck up right on me and didn't even know he was there. Mm -hmm. That's a big one. Mm -hmm. Got Blake. Let's see if we can get another one. Yeah. Stay tuned. Only a couple minutes after Blake had shot his first squirrel, that it began to snow very heavily. So we packed up the, all the gear and we moved to another spot just up the road and intercepted a few squirrels as they were trying to avoid the oncoming storm. Like. <laughs> Did you get them? There were just three doves, uh, three squirrels right there. I shot one, Blake shot one, and he just unloaded and finished one off, I think. All right guys, just got two more squirrels. Blake shot one, I got one. Right out of this tree, and we took four steps from the truck. <laughs> Let's get some more. It's snowing, but we're still bagging squirrels. Stay tuned. Wintertime hunting gives you a new opportunity to observe the woods in a different light. Being able to observe tracks on the ground, and, and just being able to see a greater distance to look at game and observe game presents you with quite an advantage that you wouldn't be able to get other times of the year. 
a lot of times in the winter, a lot of guys end up with cabin fever. They're just waiting for spring gobbler or spring trout fishing, but they don't have to. They can they can still hunt and fish during the winter time, the winter months, and still have a good time. So I hope by the end of this video series, I can showcase that. Um, I hope you learned a little about the hunting aspect in this video. And until next time, stay tuned for the next adventure. Slay and obey my friends. I'll see you on the flip side. Blake's now going to demonstrate what happens <laughs> when there's horse nests by your tree stand. <laughs> there's a nice little horse nest right there. That was like slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I shot it perfect. <laughs> shot the branch off. That's so tough. I hear some crows.